My name's Larry, and welcome to the Critical Care Academy. put a video out today introducing myself my background and then what the channel represents what our goal is here so my name's Larry and I am a registered nurse at a hospital I work in a critical care unit I've been there for about eight years now I've got a little background history in emergency room as well so in the role that I'm in currently I do a lot of teaching with new hires and uh, new nurses in general. So what I was thinking was, you know, I'm doing this already. We're going over a lot of information. Why not put out some videos to go back to look at or be able to reteach? So we came up with this. And so hopefully our goal here is we're going to put out videos on devices and nursing processes, disease processes, and I go back to think about all the things that I struggled with coming up in nursing and what would I have enjoyed or what would have been beneficial to me coming up as a new nurse. So, of course, the videos aren't all for new nurses. These are for experienced nurses in a new role or going back to revisit some things that maybe they didn't feel comfortable with. So I hope as a whole for the nursing community, this will be a good thing. And we're going to go over a lot of stuff. Um, and we're going to go piece by piece and we're going to work through it and hopefully a way that's easy to understand. So a little background information about me as a person. So I did not start out in nursing originally. Um, I started off in General Motors. I worked on cars. Um, so my nursing career really is owed to my wife. She was in nursing school at the time and I would help her study and she would ask me questions I knew nothing about and I could read and answer the questions and that's about it. But the more I did it, the more interesting it became. And so things were not the best where I was at. So we discussed it and we decided maybe it was time for a change. So I went back to school, I went back and got my CNA license and I worked for several years as a CNA. Um, just wanted to make sure that this time was right. I was doing something that I enjoyed and over those several years I realized you know I got to do something special I got to help people um, it was very very much enjoyable um, so we talked about it and then I decided to go back to nursing school and so that's what we did and she helped me through that as well so uh, you know kudos to her for where we're at right now um, and then, so afterwards, I went out and did my LPN first, and then I went back, got my RN later. And I worked in the emergency room first for several years. Got a good experience, good background, uh, knowledge that I may have not gotten anywhere else at that level. So um, after that, when I went to critical care, it was always a home I knew I wanted. So I went back after I got my RN, and I started working in this cardiac intensive care that I'm in now. So I've been there eight years now. Um, got to see a lot, got to do a lot, um, got to do rapid response. That was always a goal of mine. And so where I'm at now currently is in a management role and I'm getting to do a lot of education and teaching to a lot of the people that are coming in as new hires and residents and all the things. So I'm really enjoying that and I'm hoping that this will help kind of reach out and be able to continue some education for them and also for people outside of the area that I'm in. So um, putting forth the effort is going to be well worth a reward and I'm hoping that everybody enjoys the content that we put out and I look forward to seeing you guys every week. Of course, always, if you have any questions, reach out if there's a topic that you want to see just let me know and we can cover anything you want. Anything you have questions on, we can do it. And we're going we're gonna to learn a lot of stuff here. I look forward to seeing you guys each week. So please let me know. So a little background about me as a person. 
I have one son. His name is Jacob. He is nine. So he's in the third grade this year. And he is awesome. I mean, you couldn't ask for more than him. He's everything I could have dreamed of and more. Uh, super smart, funny, and just an absolute blessing to have. Um, my, my wife is Wendy. So we've been married 10 years this year. Um, and really and truly, she is the reason I'm sitting here right now. She got me started with my career in nursing. She waged through all the ups and downs and, um, you know, all the way to this point right now. And so I have a lot to thank for her and uh, appreciate everything that she's brought to me, allowing me to be able to come here and do this with you guys. So thanks to her, big time. We also have a small army of animals. We have five dogs, two cats, birds, fish, chickens. We have what seems like a mini zoo, essentially. But, um, you know, if things play out over years to come, we'll end up with more, I'm sure. We uh, always had dreams of having a small farm. And so we're working our way towards that now. Um, piece by piece, we'll get there one day. I really want to thank you guys for the opportunity to let me help you along your journey. Um, I hope that what you learn from here is beneficial and something that you can take with you through your whole career and, you know, pay it forward. Once you learn and you get a concept that you may have not noticed before, teach that to somebody else. You know, you guys are going to be the future of this career. Right now is a rough time in nursing and people are struggling job wise and we are slowly rebuilding what we had. And so we're gonna take this and we're gonna push forward with it and we're gonna build a new future for nursing. And we're really gonna help the future generations to be successful in their job roles.